Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in a little 46 person teams battle. Once again, joined by friend Z. Good afternoon, demons. How's it going? It's good. I'm. The, am I the demon? I don't know. Are you? Demon? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I am subscribed to you. If you if you haven't checked out Z's channel, he's another YouTuber. Uh, there'll be another video of us playing a game on his channel. Highly recommend you check that out. Uh, thank you'll you, find thank his you. link in the description down below. Now, Z, how's your starting spot looking? I had a very fortunate starting spot. I did not have anybody close to me. Got a lot of land to go through. Um, it's it. I, I find that the Africa spawns in Europe, and as soon as I say this, people are gonna start doing it. They're very useful for getting early land, which is nice. I'm gonna try to take this this uh this yellow team player out while I can. That's beautiful, wonderful. Okay, lots of land for me. See, my view on the Africa starts is I feel like you get gridlocked really easily because everyone becomes about the same size, and then you have to fight through. Like you do become like some of the biggest players on the board, but then you have to fight the other biggest players on the board like immediately, which makes for a hard sp spot if you can't get out of there right away. So my advice is always spawn in a place where you can be at least a little bit in boating range, especially in the Iberian Peninsula, because there is always great opportunities there. So even right now we have Targaryen, which we can work through with Z, but there's also this very weak Bob player right above us as well. So those are both great things to keep in mind. Very true. I'm actually trying to boat up into this bot, Amy, uh, over here in the western part. I think that's Portugal. Hey, I'm doing my geography things. There you go. You did it. <laughs> yeah, and that's a I'm great not, opportunity for you. As Bob is wasting a lot of troops trying to kick me off. I've got a lot more troops than he does, so we'll just quickly work through him. Especially now that you've joined the fight, and now we'll have some more common borders up north as well. Indeed, I'm going to let you get a border on Ireland here because this black player is going to be annihilated here by that green player up there. Ooh, and, and look at you getting the crown right there. away. Indeed, I have to be a little careful because Targaryen's kind of just sitting here and defending. Um, but I'm I'm doing pretty darn good. I will say that. Yeah. Do you need some help with Ireland? Or are you going to... Oh, oh, no, he'll just full send me. So I'll let you... I'll yield some of that of land course. so you can get a little bit more borders. And I'll see if I can get a little bit of a border with this green player above you just to kind of be a safety net there. But I do think right now we both need to save up our troops a little bit. The Barreto guy is offering me a truce. I'm going to take that and also see if Tri wants a truce. We could work our way through Africa, which kind of... I don't know. There's a lot of big targets through Africa. It would take us a long time to push through. Whereas I think if we go through Europe, that would be less, but we would face more enemies. What are, what's your thoughts? Well, right now, I think the only thing that decides whether or not we go through Africa is if this this black team player goes in on Targaryen, and I don't think that's going to happen. So I think you're right about... Although, ugh, man, we really need our teammate to attack them there. There we go. And if Targaryen starts to attack our teammate, we need to move in on him as well. This black player is going to get massive. Yeah, he's actually getting a little bit too big, so I'm going to push through Targaryen to try and get to him. Yep, I'm doing the same thing here. Going to try to uh, force the full send so that we can get to this black team player quicker. Yeah, as Miami Dade is doing the Lord's work and taking him out, there's the full send. So we're all going to get borders on Targaryen. I'm going to try not cut you off, that, but I don't need Good. to. And now Perfect. we can all work on this guy together as the yellow team is also pushing through. There we go. All righty. Well, this guy's going to get taken out. I've already got a full attack. I think... I really would like this Miami person to not cut me off, brother. Don't you do oh, it. Oh, no. It's such a mistake. Ooh. Oh, come on. I'm still Keep good. Going. I'm still good. Oh, my gosh. We're you have good. the tiniest sliver of land right here. It's not even. This is this is rough. This is this is <laughs> ridiculous. I don't even think he'll see it. That's too funny. Well, I don't know here. What do we do? Do we move up in the green areas or what's what's your call? I think we have the troops and I have peace with the two green players. I'll, why don't you push through the crown? I'll, I'll finance. Sounds like a plan to me. I will do so. And, and we'll try and get Miami in on right this there. as well. Don't think that he's going to, unfortunately. No, but... Miami's going up through try, which is not necessarily the worst strategy, but uh, it's not really focusing on what we need to accomplish right now, which is taking out the crown before he gets all of his troops. And I'm really hoping this guy full sends on me because no one else gets any of that land if that's the case. Yeah, I am donating to you every time I get red interest, so hopefully that'll make a little bit of a difference in the war. Now, we do have this great Luxon, or Lynx player in Scandinavia who's taken out a lot of the 
British Isles, so that's going to be very helpful. As you have regained the crown, you have the momentum to take out the rest of that yellow player. He There's full sends. Let's go. Give me the 60k, game. Give me the 60k, please. It's all I want. In case you don't know, <laughs> once you get to 60k on your pixel count, you move faster. You capture land faster, and that'll be helpful with uh, Z trying to get around Miami Dade, who is cutting him off, even though you are the crown, and we definitely need your expansion more than anything else, as Armenia is also looking like you're gonna, he's going to cut you off. So I guess our position has now changed from moving up through Africa to moving up through Europe. Yep, I've, I've although I do have borders on name.png here, which is which is a, not a bad thing. I'm actually going to push into him now while he's got less troops than I do. I was about um, to say, why don't you do that? I'll keep donating to you. These green guys have been rather peaceful to us, so we don't need to take them out right away. But name is getting a lot of donations himself, so this is going to be quite the challenge. But you do have the crown. You do have a little bit more troops and... I'm trying to finance you to my best ability so that you can keep this attack up a name. If we can take him out, I think this is going to be a we're going to be in a really good spot as a team and take a lot of pressure off Gumption and Armenia. Very, very true. And I'm doing my best to push through here efficiently without using too many troops at a time. I think there's the full scent. No, that's just a big attack. OK, we're going to push right back into that. Keep going. He's trying to do he's sending me all the emotes. He's trying to get me to be on his side, but it's just not going to happen, brother. No, it's not personal. It's just personal. Yeah, it's one of those things where if we had left him, he would have ganged up on you at the first opportunity and thus the red team. But oh, try just try full sense. sense. So I'm going to yep. grab all of that land and move up a little bit myself. Name actually also just full sent. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get up into that. So I'm my Africa triumph is over. Well, at least my turkey triumph is over now. I'm going to have to move in on Barreto. I'm sorry, brother. It's time. I've kept you alive for a long time, but it is not going to be very much longer. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for you and just kind of start working on this yellow player so that you... I'm just going to try and feed you as much land as possible while also helping you as best as I can. So that does look like he full sent you, so that's going to be a lot of land for you. I'm going to leave that, although yes. it is looking like red is in a dominant position from here on out as we have Gumption, who's very strong, you who are very strong, and that is going to look really nice. The uh, player in Scandinavia has also managed to capture a lot of the land around. So now it's just Gumption and up to Gumption and Lynx to complete the mission and finish out Crusader State. So I'm going to give some donations to Gumption who can take a little bit more. So we'll try and feed him. Hopefully he doesn't milk this too much. As he has 13 million and he's just kind of sitting out. So I'm going to feed Lynx instead. So, that, yep, I've actually just, I donated half to both here. I'm sitting here at 3000000 million. I'm going to give the rest to Donut as well, just because I think he's going to do it. Gumption is AFK, question mark? Yeah, uh, uh, he was just there. I think he's getting islands or something. I'm not quite sure, but uh, he's uh, milking his time in the sun, so we'll just keep feeding Lynx. I've given all of my troops to Lynx to kind of speed that along, as we don't really need to practice safe donations in the end game. Lynx does full send, which really helps out taking a Crusader State, who throws out a big fist on his way out. Well, I'll throw out the kissy face for the boys and say GG's to all involved. And thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far in the video. If you have made it this far in the video, hey, give him a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. Don't forget to check out Z's channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.